Hello again. Right, this is my first knock after having had COVID. And I don't have the energy to crack a fart. So I'm just gonna try eight. I'm not going up the hill. I'll try, I'll try that tomorrow. Today, I just wanna see if I can get round eight. So while I am removing great lumps of the landscape with a bad golf swing, I'll tell you a bit about this year, a bit about next year, and one or two other things while I'm on my what's what's on my mind at the moment, such that it is. My mind is so foggy. I can't remember what what the hell I'm doing or where I am. Just waiting for the first to clear. Which side should I miss it today? Left or right? So as the man said, let's talk about videos. For instance, this is the last video I've got. I've run out. Missed two weekends with Covid and then two weekends with heavy rain. And I wasn't expecting to hit a decent shot down here for the first. In fact, we got such a strong north wind, I've only got 107. And that looked about six inches away. So I started the year with a pile of videos from Thailand. So I should have had a very, very easy year. But I didn't. I came home to a letter inviting me to have a vein taken out of my legs. So then I was four weeks with my feet up. So that was four weeks lost of making videos. And then throughout the year, it's got harder and harder to make videos. And the reason for that is quite simply the number of members at Lillybrook. There's about 800 of us now, which is a good 150, too many. And oh boy, wasn't that fat. You almost missed the ball there. Eh? And if there's one thing I've learned over the years, treat the short ones with respect. That is a silly, silly double bogey. And now we're down the wind, and I don't know what club to hit. And that's gone miles. So as the year has gone on and on and on, I've found it harder and harder to make the videos. And of course, there's always the, here's Simon going round his own golf course yet again, which has a, a certain amount of boredom. You know all these holes. I'm sure you'd rather see. Good par, mate. I'd rather, I'd, I think you'd rather see other golf courses. Come on, David, tidy it up. Good lad. So this year, so many of my away days have been on hilltop courses in South Wales. Lovely place to play golf, lovely people, some classic old courses. And of course they've been affordable. And I think that is so important that I can show you golf courses that you can afford to play. No point in me going to 150 pound golf courses. Shame this is on attempt because I'm only about 20 feet from the real hole. Should I count that as a par or not? Hmm. Probably not.
So next year, I want to play some different courses. I want to play tree line courses. I want to test myself. I want to stretch myself. Really test my abilities. But again, the courses have got to be affordable. The trouble is it's getting harder and harder to find courses which are affordable. Take a course that's 40 minutes from my house. It's a nice course, nothing special, but I always enjoy playing it. It used to be £35. It's now £62. £62. Pounds. And I just don't know how they justify that. Because it is... It's an ordinary golf course. It's nothing special. So it's going to get a little harder for me to find courses to play. Now I do have five courses penciled in and I've had to think very hard about what my limits are for a round of golf and it used to be two pounds a hole, 36 pounds for an ordinary golf course. But with green fees going up all over the place due to inflation, cost of green keeping equipment, the cost of the fertilizers and chemicals they use, not to mention the cost of the electricity in the clubhouse, I'm gonna to have to raise my affordable level to 50 pounds. So, in future, I'm going to be spending more money. Of course, there is always a spanner in the works. And that spanner is my work. Oh, that was absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. That spanner is my work. And quite frankly, my job is going to India at the end of March. Oh, nice semi knife there, Simon. So, who knows what's going to happen? In a few months, I might be joining the ranks of the retired. Cheerio! Not bad. Let's make a par at the last. Yeah.